Morning. Actually, this should be cheerier than that, shouldn't I? Morning. Um, it's a little after half past seven in the morning. I've already done one man thing. I've been and used the L Sand Point. So emptying the toilet half seven in the morning. Um, lovely mooring spot. I know we're really close to the Alsan point, but you can't smell it. There's no um, there's no insects or whatever, or there wasn't last night anyway. The geese that were all in this field across here um, were nice and quiet. Did get the ducks coming at half past six, tapping on the side of the boat because we made the, in inverted commas, mistake of feeding them last night. Um, it's very peaceful here. So plan for the day really is just to sort of bop up the canal. Um, ahead of Josh is next major place, Stoke Bruin, which we like. Um, it's the place with the Waterways Museum. So Stoke Bruin's nice. Uh, beyond that is Blisworth Tunnel. Uh, and then the lovely village of Blisworth, which is pleasant as well, which we visited on the way down. Beyond Blisworth. There's beyond Blisworth, Norton Junction, which is where the Leicester line runs off towards Leicester, funnily enough, and the Watford um, flight of locks, and we can carry on towards Braunston. So there's a few nice places in between, Nether Hayford, Bug, Bugbrook, and places like that. Um, so we're not quite sure. Done. We've done five solid days of cruising now. Might even have done seven solid days of cruising actually. Um, we're making good progress, so I think we're just going to carry on. Um, the canal beckons. So we're going to need to make a bit of a repair, do another semi man thing. Because my hammer is broken. And as you can see, I've attempted to man thing it already once. It doesn't take long before it's doing that again. The obvious answer is buy another one, but I'm going to be a bit boatery about it. I'm going to be a boater and try and fix it first. Yeah. So we'll get some engine checks done shortly. And you'll hopefully can get some toast on the go. Just might even show you how we toast things. There you go, there's a treat for you. This is how we toast things. This is how we toast things. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Shut up, Elliot. Attempt number two. It's alright. Well, we'll see. Set up, isn't it? Oh, Pim's o'clock. Saw that boat yeah, at yeah. um. Didn't see that before. Oh. I have no hope of remembering that. Exactly where it was. Where that um, apartment building was that we weren't sure if it was a hotel or it was a um, oh, right. next to the golf course. 
can't remember what the town was called. It's short uh, uh, north of Cassiebury. Very well done. Very well done. This is one of my favourite bridges on the whole network, this one. Of those that I've seen. Well, well, of the ones that we've seen, yeah, alright. Comes with that cameo. Yeah, it feels like the king's entrance to something, doesn't it? Yeah. This is how we toast things. This is how we toast things. So, so this is the utensil. Fairly basic. So the breads on the uh, toaster. We're on Tiger Bloomer. Flip the hob. in the toaster. Harry Potter's in town. You can so see the white feathers coming through now.
you the location yesterday. I sent you a post. into the spirit. has got it sorted hasn't he, he's got his nice narrow bow, fabulous garden, he's got a shed, tent stroke TP. oh yeah, that is properly living the dream. Right, bottom lock at Stoke Bruin, that's five of them. There they are, as you can see we stayed here back in April. Um, what time is it now? A little past 12 past 10. Let's see how long it takes to do the five. <laughs> there you go, I'll zoom in if you want. <laughs> we, oh, <you're> like <laughs> <laughs> we name everyone we meet actually, so oh, you, yeah. I, I, we can either name you or we'll you can you can fess up who you are. We'll be on the TV we'll you will be, be on the TV, yeah. Up in Manchester. Hang on, we've got a helper. Sunny Manchester.
At this point, we were lucky enough to be joined by a boat with a family over on holiday from Australia. And so I just need to keep Josh tucked into the right hand side here. Time sit wrap. Time's up. There we go. One hundred. No. Party lab. Right, top of the five lock flight. There's two more to go. Time. Oh look at that. Eleven thirteen. So, an hour to do five locks. Boom. It's because we had a very enthusiastic helper. We'd have. Good. Um, yeah. Oh, from Australia, so I don't know. Does that make you Australian? Not really. It's quite a stat, isn't it? Each time a boat passes through a lock around 55,000 gallons of water, nearly a quarter of a million litres is taken from the high to the low of the canal. A quarter of a million litres. Farmer ploughing his field. But that's a bit of a laugh. Unless you've got hay fever. Some serious kit that, isn't it? The old lock gates there.
みたいな Just on the run up to Blisworth Tunnel now, and in the 1980s, the tunnel was largely rebuilt using precast concrete rings, and it was、uh, an attempt to test out the materials which were later used、uh, in the construction of the Channel Tunnel. And one of the unused concrete rings can just be seen on our starboard side. Work began constructing the tunnel in 1793, but sadly, three years in. The tunnel collapsed due to quicksand and killed 14 men. Work started again, and in 1805 the tunnel finally opened. But the only way to get through the tunnel until the 1870s was by legging, where people would lie on the boat's roof and literally walk the boat through using their legs. In 1871,、uh, steam tug system was introduced. That's where the ventilation shafts that you'll see were introduced. If you were a thrifty boater, you could still leg your boat through and avoid the extra cost of the steam tugs. But by the 1930s, motor-powered boats were becoming commonplace, and you just tow a butty boat. And once we get to the other side of Blisworth Tunnel, there'll be an example of a butty boat. Here is an example of a butty boat, which is an unpowered craft. Because the lack of engine means less water going over the rudder, you get these oversized rudders fitted to the butty boats.
Northampton or more branch or whatever it is. He's up there yeah. to Northampton. To infinity. And beyond. Or Bronson, actually. Sixteen and a half miles. Sorted ish. Like a pair of eyes. Watching you. Right, then do the front ones. Well done, dear. from our mooring spot on the way down. Nowhere near as yellow now. Cracking spot this one, cracking spot. side of this boat so he's gone on to the uh, flown over the um, towpath so I suspect he has run away but um, just on the off chance he comes out we've got the video running there he is there he is down going down the canal yeah 
he's still going down the canal. He's gone around the corner. So here's our mooring spot for the evening. I know that some people would say this is madness because that's the M1. To our port side is the West Coast Main Line. So lots of trains. And actually here, I think there's some farmer pumping grey water into the canal through that. I have checked. That doesn't smell. This bit of the canal that he's pumping into isn't glowing green. We'll see if that happens at night. And that there aren't suddenly loads of insects around it, so I'm, I think it's just pump, pumping water. Do you think that pump runs all night? That doesn't shut up fairly soonish. Then we might be untying and moving. That's going to <laughs> Just <to> check. <laughs> right, so I found a spot just here. It's more than big enough to fit an aeroboat Josh in. And one motorway. Please, my angel. But no farm machinery or whatever pumping stuff into the canal, so I think that pump still running when we get back to the boat. I think we should move. Right, pump still running so I thought by now she'd know how to do this. <laughs> it's a moment when the boat's moved too far forwards. Oh, can you pull the front now, please? Yeah, I told you, told you she'd say that. 
So this is our second mooring spot of the evening. Not to see it. Anyway, bless him, he's tried, look. He's tried to give me my chilled wine. Mm. How's it going, my angel? Yeah, yeah, good. Mm. Just uh, poured myself a nice glass of sludge. It's not sludge. Give that, give that 30 seconds or so. You're not supposed to freeze wine though, are you? Why not? That, it's, it's a bit tasteless. I won't say it tastes bad. It's too bad. cold, that's why. Mm. That's too cold, it's too cold. So it just needs to uh, warm through a touch. That oh. looks <laughs> pretty frozen. You can have a wee dram instead of which. Look at it. You can see that. You can see the block of ice moving around in it. Now you've hidden my whiskey. <laughs> this is not <laughs> This is not acceptable. I, can't, I don't know where it is. Don't make me tear this boat to pieces. Ooh. Actually, you th you'll find that I was protecting it. Not protecting it, right. So it's not clean. Yes, I put it on the floor. Uh, that's a good call, actually. Well done, my angel. You're welcome. I'm sorry for accusing you of stealing and hiding my whiskey. I didn't say you stole it. Although, if you hid it, well, no. It's with the best intentions, dear. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> so, Slightly murderous look in your eye then. <coughs> Excuse me, we need to cover our new chairs at some point, don't we? I like them how they are. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny yeah, for you. Hilarious.